wow, what a beautiful day. The air is skin temperature. It's, I mean, I can't, you can't feel that it's warm or cold. It's just neutral. But there's a little cool breeze that keeps drifting through. And it is an absolutely beautiful afternoon to be outside. Um, I need to wash this off. I've gone two days applying, you know, a boatload of sunscreen without washing it off at night. Oh, that's such a horrible admission. Anyhow, <laughs> yeah, beautiful. So um, I decided to come outside and finish up my plant nursery. I want to see if I can flip this around. You can you guys can see what I've been planting lately. I don't know if I can or not. Can I? Can I flip this around? No, I'm going to start another segment. All right, so here's the plant nursery. I'm dropping my glasses, yeah. So what I've got are a bunch of Costco uh, containers that had vegetables and fruits and eggs and Grant's muffins and all that junk. <clears throat> so I've got primarily um, sunflowers in these. I also have some zucchini that I'm trying to get going. Um, <clears throat> Next up will be the tomatoes and the cilantro. I want to get those going, but I think I want to get those planted in their permanent location. So I'm going to wait until next week after our next rain, which will be this weekend, possibly our final rain too. But anyhow, you can kind of see what I've done in here. I've uh, poked a bunch of holes in the tops and the bottoms and that will those will serve as little greenhouses. I've never tried this before, but we'll see what happens. These are my sad looking little basils that I um, um, planted from one basil, one potted basil from Trader Joe's, which is really about a dozen or more individual basil plants. So I carefully tease them apart. I put them out here, I watered them and said, okay, babies, make it if you can. And it looks like I'm actually going to have some that will survive. They look awful now, but I think they'll look okay later after they grow and I pinch them back a bunch of times. Um, let's see, what do we have over here? More sunflowers. And the tin cans have sunflowers in them. Those are sunflowers. This is my basil. And then there are a bunch of um, ornamentals in there. Celosia, if that's how you pronounce it. Pincushion flowers, things like that in this large one. So yeah, everything's looking good. It's really, uh, it looks like I've got some um, fresh flowers that are coming up out of those um, ice and poppies that I planted. I lost... Uh, four of my five lavenders. Obviously this one's doing good. These I lost them. That one's fine. And I think the ones that I put directly into the soil, oh my gosh, yes, they're looking great. So yeah, that's, uh, that's what I'm doing today. Whew. I went inside and gave my face a lick and a promise. Didn't get all the sunscreen off, but enough to, you know, satisfy me for right now. Um, oh my gosh. So I heard this week that the um, 99 cent stores, 99 cent only, I think is their technical title. All of them are closing. At least as of, that was as of the news yesterday. I read something today about someone trying to come in some... CEO of a bit of like pick and save or someplace like that is coming in and trying to save some of the stores, at least in Southern California. But, you know, who knows? But they are already doing their in their inventory reduction sales. Um, uh, apparently, it's at 30% off list now. And the stores are just flooded with people going in trying to stock up on stuff. So tomorrow. Gracie and I are going to get in the car at 7.30 in the morning, go down to 
99 cent store number one and walk through and see what we can find. Uh, we will probably hit two, three, maybe more, depending on, you know, what we see when we get there, how interesting it is, you know, how many people there are, blah, blah, blah. So I think I'm going to do at least one, but probably more videos all about shopping the liquidation at the 99 cent store with my various friends and family members. Grace is gonna be first, then I'm going to see if my son can set some time aside, perhaps go with me. Uh, maybe Grant will wanna go later, I don't know. But um, yeah, it's, it's, <coughs> I was telling a friend of mine, this is the first thing I can remember. Well, maybe not, maybe CDs are also in this category maybe cassette tapes but definitely cds anyhow this is one of the only things i can ever remember where i got to witness the beginning of the era all the way through its lifespan to the end of the era and it's not just a um just 99 cent store um dollar trees are in trouble um family dollar dollar general seem to be doing a little bit better <coughs> But I think it's because their business model opens them up to more types and price points of cheap products. Like, you know, a neighborhood Walmart or something. Um, I don't know, but I think that's true. 99 Cent has uh, listed several issues about why they're closing. One is just the changed retail landscape since COVID. Um, also, they're having a lot of trouble with inventory shrinkage due to theft. It's just, as we all know, it's rampant, especially in metropolitan areas and big stores like that, um, where the um, the clerks, I don't know why I'm coughing. Hang on, I'm gonna close this here and cough a minute. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna take a sip of coffee while I gather my thoughts. Um, okay, now, okay, so, um, thievery is a big deal, especially in big cities, um, San Francisco, LA area, you know, big metropolitan areas, at least out here on the West Coast, because people will, these gangs will go in and just grab as much stuff as they can and just run through the doors, and clerks are not supposed to stop them. I mean, if it's something that's over a thousand dollars, they are, they can get involved, but they're not supposed to stop. I guess it has probably has something to do with liability, insurance, something like that, where if they get hurt or killed doing it, it could open up the, the uh, store to all kinds of lawsuits. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm sure it's one of those cost benefit analysis decisions. Anyway, um, yeah, and then of course there have been a lot of issues with uh, getting, um, product from, uh, from China. Uh, China is not the only place dollar stores get their inventory. They also get closeouts as well, you know, domestic closeouts, but a huge amount does come from China and getting product has been tough. It was real tough right after, you know, a couple of years ago and, it's easing up a little bit, but um, it's still a huge problem. And getting the getting timely products, I guess, has it's been difficult as well. So, um, yeah. So all of those conditions con have conspired to cause the ninety nine cent store to just throw in the towel. So I've read. I mean, you know, businesses, big businesses close up for lots of different reasons. Um, here in the town where I live, there was a big packing plant, farming concern. Um, uh, what do you call those places? Packing houses, uh, frozen foods, this big, big company. And a few years ago, they sold out to a multinational huge conglomerate that proceeded to run up all of their credit 
until they declared bankruptcy. And that is a that is a business strategy. That wasn't by mistake. They that's what had been planned to do with this company. And there are other companies, um, many other companies that have been acquired and then used as a um, not a cash cow, but a uh, a hedge against profit. I guess is is what that uh, boils down to. I think I'm, I'm no economist, so I'm not real, really sure, but it's a, it's a tactic. So apparently that is not happening with 99 cent. Apparently nobody came in to bail them out, so they're just closing closing up shop. Um, 99 cent store, if you don't know, is a 300 store plus group of huge dollar stores and they did used to be everything was 99 cents in there now it's it goes there's 99 cent stuff in there now but it they have a lot of higher ticket items now um much like what's happened with dollar tree they went from a dollar to a dollar 25 and now they're going to be adding what three five and seven dollar items something like that so anyhow um i want to you know what i want to get down and dirty and roll around with the, um, and someone's coming to visit me, uh, roll around in all of that uh, close down of, of, um, of the Dollar Trees, I mean of the 99 cent store. And that is not for me, that's uh, one of Mike's friends was driving in to see him. So anyhow, that's the story and I will be, <clears throat> committing all of this to video so tomorrow i will be shooting my first video on my experience with the um shutdown and winding up of the iconic 99 cent only store franchise talk to you guys later